It's a new year and you've decided that you want to learn German, but now you're bombarded with tons of questions. How do you go from zero to fluent? Where do you start? Which resources are the best? And which ones should you use? All of these questions can be incredibly overwhelming. Luckily for you, I've spent literally half of my life learning German, teaching it to hundreds of students in person, and hundreds of thousands online. I have scoured the internet for the best resources and methods for German learners. I have been reviewing them for years. If I were learning German from scratch, this is how I'd do it. Even if you aren't starting from scratch, don't worry, this video is packed with tips and tricks for you as well. I guarantee that by the end of this video, you will have learned at least one thing that will change the way that you learn German for the better. If you're looking for resources to help you along your German learning journey, I have spent over 10 years reviewing every German resource that I can get my hands on. I compiled a list of the best of the best in a free PDF that you can get at germanwithantrum.com. Go there now and download yours for free. It's a free German resources PDF. If you download this today, you'll also get a bonus of my goal setting template that'll help you get on the right track and stay on it while learning German. So when you're done watching this video, go to germanwithantrum.com and download the German resources PDF for free. When I leave for a trip, I never step foot out of the house without first making a detailed plan, what to pack, an itinerary, a list of places to go, a list of things to see. The list goes on and on. When you start your German learning journey, the same attention to detail is necessary for you to reach your goals. When I set goals, I always keep in mind the idea of SMART goals. A goal must be specific. I'm going to learn German so that I can take advantage of Germany's amazing universities with incredibly low prices. I looked up what most universities require, and it looks like I'm going to have to pass the test DAF with a score of 4 or 5 for each of the four categories, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. There are other exams that can get you in, but this is the one that is most convenient for me, as it is available at my local Goethe Institute several times a year. The bottom line is that I need to reach at least B2 in order to get into a German university, and I have to prove that skill level with an accepted exam certificate. This means my goal meets the second part of the SMART goal format, which is measurable. I can tell where I am based on the practice tests that are available for TestDoth website and the other online tests that can assess your German skills. The letters A and R in SMART goals stands for achievable and realistic, respectively. Those parts depend on how I answer the last part, so I'll skip them for now. The last letter is T for timely. A goal without a deadline is just a dream, so to change your dream into reality, you need to give yourself a deadline. Ideally, you would actually set up multiple deadlines along the way. I'm going to master A1 in about a month. This is both achievable and realistic. It will probably take me a few months to pass the A2 level. B1 and B2 are known as the intermediate plateau because there is so much information to cover that it feels like you're just kind of spinning your wheels. This will likely take about nine months if I study for a couple of hours each day. My SMART goal then is, I will pass the test off with a score of four or higher in all categories by this time next year. It is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and a timely goal. If you want a deeper look into SMART goals and how to apply them to your German learning, check out the video that I made last year, which is linked in the description. Now that I have my heading, I can make a map to lead me there. In order to pass this exam, I need to be well-rounded in my German skills. I have to be able to listen and read in German, which are usually the easy parts for language learners. But I also have to be able to write and speak, which are quite a bit more difficult. This means that I'll have to practice all four of these areas throughout my German learning. For listening, I'm mostly going to rely on YouTube. I have a list of my recommendations for German learning YouTube channels linked in the description, but I would start with the best of the best. Easy German. Y'all probably thought I was going to name my own channel here, but I am neither naive nor arrogant enough to think that I could top Easy German for listening comprehension content. They do street interviews with German native speakers and talk about a huge range of topics. They also have playlists for every level from A1 to C2. Now where I will plug my own channel is my three hour long video that covers everything you need to know for the A1 level. It covers vocabulary and speaking, along with a ton of the basics of grammar. Let's be honest, that's how most of you found me before you started watching this video. It's by far my most popular video on the channel. Watching a YouTube video, however, is not enough to really learn the content. You need to practice it too. That's why I created my Deutschlerner Club. It grants you access to the curriculum outlined in my A1 beginner German video and the curriculum in my A2 elementary video. 
Then, every lesson comes with bonus materials that you can't find anywhere else online. Extra video lessons, practice exercises, worksheets with answer keys, mp3 downloads, and a whole lot more. I've also been working on a B1 course, which is why a lot of the most recent content on this channel has been aimed at that level. Those lessons are also available as part of the Deutschlander Club. In fact, extra materials are available for every lesson that I've created on this channel since December of 2022. Long story short, if I were starting to learn German over again, the Deutschlander Club would definitely be part of my German learning regimen. I would set the goal of completing at least one lesson per day, and in some cases, I would even finish an entire section of the course in one day. This would allow me to finish the entire A1 course in about a month, and the A2 course in about three months. If you want to learn more about the Deutschlander Club, I have a link, you guessed it, in the description down below. While the Deutschlander Club would help me out with the reading and writing portions of the language learning process, it would probably still be a good idea to supplement with other materials somewhere else. Link is a great website for that kind of thing. It combines reading and listening in an interactive way that can really help you to boost your skills. They have a curricula that you can follow for the various levels of German learning too. If I could choose one additional website to use in addition to my Deutschlander Club, I would choose Link. I've added an affiliate link to the description if you want to use that and help support the channel along the way. There's also a free trial if you want to try that before committing to the premium version. So, I have listening, reading, and writing covered on the YouTube end and the Deutschlander Club and the link, but how can I practice speaking? There are a few options, actually. A lame but effective version is just talking to yourself. Read everything out loud in German. Have mock conversations with yourself when you're bored. Try to translate conversations that you had with coworkers throughout the day into German. All of these are great ways to practice, but they're also great ways to solidify errors. If I keep making the same error, but I don't know that I'm making an error, it will make my brain think that the error is correct. I need a source of feedback. There are many options available for that. When I was studying German at the university level, the one thing that advanced my German speaking skills more than anything else was Stammtisch. Every week, several students, some professors from the university, and a few community members would get together and speak German with one another. If an error was made, sometimes the professors would correct us, but for the most part, we focused on communicating. We talked about everything from the weather to politics of the day, and even what's up with that new construction on campus. There is no better place to practice German than a local Stammtisch. Look for a German program at a local university. If they offer German at that university, they likely offer a Stammtisch and even invite the public to participate, which means you don't have to pay the exorbitant amount that an American university costs nowadays, but you still get the best part, a Stammtisch. There are also lots of community-led Stammtische, which you can look up on meetup.com or or simply just Google it. Some of those are virtual, so you can join from anywhere in the country or even not in this country. If you prefer a digital option, you might look into something like Tandem or My Language Exchange. I also did a review of a company called Deutsch Gym a while back. They are awesome. You can do daily chats at your level with other German learners led by a German native speaker. They also cover almost all of the levels and meet pretty much every day, so they are definitely worth checking out. I have another affiliate link in the description for that site if you want to help out this channel while improving your German speaking skills. Now that I have the what that I'm going to use in order to master the German language so that I can study at a German university, I need to map out the how part of this. I already said that it isn't enough to simply watch a YouTube video. Unless you have eidetic memory, you're not going to retain everything that you see just from watching it. Let's say I'm starting with a lesson from one of the easy German YouTube playlists. During each session, I will listen and pause the video and repeat everything that is said in the video. This is pretty convenient because there are also subtitles in German and in English at the bottom of the screen, so I can just read what they said. I will take notes along the way too. I would do the same if I were doing the three hour long A1 course video that I have on YouTube or whatever other lessons you are doing on the Deutschlander Club. Watch the video, pause it often, repeat what is said, take notes, Practice with your friends on the Stammtisch or the Deutsch Gym or both. Complete the practice exercises in the Deutschlander Club. Check your work with the video explaining the exercise, only available in the Deutschlander Club and not on YouTube. Day in and day out, this is what I do. Keep chugging along like this until I have mastered the A2 level in less than four months. Now, I personally get bored pretty easily, so after a while, this process is going to grow tiresome. I'll need something to keep my German learning fresh. I like reading, so I would probably pick up Angelica Bohn's book Nachbar Nummer 5, which is written with A1 learners in mind. I'll also download a copy of the audiobook so that I can hear proper pronunciation of the words as I read along with the paper copy of the book. 
In addition to all of that, I would go to Angelica Bowen's website and download the extra materials to go with this book. I would start alternating between the Deutschlehrer Club lessons, the Easy German videos, and the Nachbar Nummer 5 book. On book reading days, I would read along with the audiobook for a full chapter, then complete the comprehension questions and check my answers with the answer key. I would also keep a list of helpful vocabulary and phrasing notes, which I would add to a stack of flashcards, preferably physical flashcards. The reason for my love of physical flashcards is explained in another video, which is also linked in the description, but the bottom line is that you can remember information better from physical flashcards. There are 10 chapters in Nachbar Nummer 5, so after two weeks I should be done with all of that, and I can move on to the next book in the series. I would move on to Der Silberne Kugelschreiber, which is meant for German learners between the A1 and A2 levels. By the time that I completed this book, I would expect to be done with the entire A1 and A2 levels of the Deutschlehrer Club. You can find my links to reviews of several of Angelica Bohn's books in the description. They are definitely worth reading. I also have affiliate links to the Amazon pages for all of her books, along with other recommendations for German language learning reading materials linked in the description, if you're interested in more suggestions and helping out the channel with some affiliate revenue. I could continue reading books by Angelika Bohn through the B1 and B2 levels, but once I get past the A2 level, it's time to switch into hyperdrive. The B1 level is often called the Intermediate Plateau. That's because there is so much information at this level that it seems like you aren't making any progress. In order to facilitate the sheer amount of information at this level, I will need to get a lot of input. This means reading a lot of books and watching or listening to a lot of content in German. I'll start the Dino Lernt Deutsch series by André Klein, which starts simple and then gets more difficult as you get to the later books. These books are available as paperback books as well as audiobooks, which again, I would use both so that I can read along while listening to the proper pronunciation. I would watch German shows like Babylon Berlin, Tatort, Deutschland 83 or Tribes of Europa. I would watch a German movie every single night. Everything from German cartoon films like Huibu and Lissi und der Wilde Kaiser to dramas like Das Leben der Anderen. Literally every film I could find, I would watch in German. I would stop consuming content of any kind in my native language once I start the B1 level. Everything that I do, from sunup to sundown, will be in German. I would find a German podcast to listen to. Not a podcast for German learners, but a podcast in German about topics of interest to me. It could be news, or one of those murder mystery things, or even a podcast that discusses the latest DC comics and movies. The only real requirement here is that it is authentically made for German native speakers, and it is something that I can casually listen to on my way to work or wherever it is that I'm going that day, or whenever I'm doing relatively mindless tasks like cooking or doing the dishes or chasing chickens to improve my speed like Rocky. I linked a website in the description where you can find a ton of German podcasts. I would watch the news in German via something like Tagesschau or some of these YouTube channels for German news organizations, all of which are linked in that PDF that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I would read the news in German as well. There are recommendations for websites for that linked in the description. I would watch TV shows in German. Whatever streaming service that you subscribe to definitely has a German option. You just have to dig through the settings to find out how to turn on the German dubbed versions of things. You can also use one of the main German TV stations' websites. They have TV shows in German that you can stream there for free. If I'm not passively listening to German content via music or a podcast or something like that, I would pause whatever it is very often, take notes, and practice saying what they say, and then continue on with the video, movie, or show. While doing all of these things, I can't forget that my main goal in all of this German learning was to pass the test off with a score of 4 or higher in every category. In order to do this, I'm going to have to take some practice exams at some point. There are several available on the test off's website, as well as on Amazon and other platforms. I would test my skills about once a week with a different test. I would start with an example from the test off's website and familiarize myself with the test format. I would read all of the tips and tricks that are on their website, which are all in German, so it's accomplishing two goals at the same time. I'm doing research into the test that I want to pass while also immersing myself in the German language. Every other week, I would try a different online test. Take the Goethe Institute's free online assessment. Try the ESL website's online test. There's also a website called Test Your Language that will allow you to test your language. 
there are literally dozens of websites that offer some sort of semi-formal test. Alternate between an example test-off exam with the exact format that you will need in order to pass the exam and a different style of assessment. This will help you get a variety of opinions about your German skills and whether or not you are actually ready to take the next step. After about six months of German learning and all of the other things that I've outlined, take the test off. I prefer the paper version, but there is a digital version available. I know it's going to set you back some money and you're very unlikely to pass it with the score that you need, but taking this exam is the best way to prepare for this exam. I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive, but trust me, it's true. You don't really know what this exam is going to be like until you have taken it. Test off allows you to take the exam as many times as you like without any penalty whatsoever. The paper version of this test is not offered at every Goethe Institute location very often. If you search on the test off's website, you'll find that it's about every six months or so. This means that you should sign up for the one that is closest to you and then just see how you do. Then sign up for the next one after you've spent a few more months learning German and taking practice exams. Once you have passed the exam, it's time to apply to that German university, which is a whole other beast that I can't fit into this video. I mentioned a ton of resources throughout this video, so if you want to get a comprehensive list more detailed than what I have in the description down below, go to my website and download that PDF version for free. It's the low, low cost of signing up for my email newsletter. If you're looking for more German learning tips, I have a playlist right over here for that. If you want to join the Deutschland Club that I mentioned several times throughout this video, click over here. Das ist alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!